Hey everyone, so this is the last video for working with the Firestore. Last time we got our data out and we were working on displaying it in a list. And we do have that going on here, uh, but our list isn't very pretty. And maybe we want to customize it a little bit. Um, in the recycler view, you did this with card views. Uh, in this, we define, we do it a slightly different way. Okay, so the reason that we're kind of stuck with this ugliness here is when we tell our list view how to display, we say, here's your adapter, and I want this adapter to use this simple list item layout. And predictably, the simple list item layout is pretty, is pretty simple. Um, so if we want to make this more complex, what we have to do is define our own array adapter uh, and replace it in here. So that's, let's do that. It's actually not too bad to do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make my new class inside my activity. So I'm going to create an inner class. You can absolutely 100% create a separate Java class over here for this. I'm just going to do it inside of here um, because I'm not planning on reusing this adapter. All right? So I'm going to call my adapter. What, I, what we're going to have to do is we're going to extend subclass this class and tell it uh, how to render the items in a slightly different way. Okay, so let me uh, define my inner class and I'll call it patient adapter. Okay. And it is going to extend the array adapter. It is going to freeze. Uh, there we go. Android Studio. It's going to extend the array adapter for the patient uh, class. Okay. All right. So um, I have to give it a constructor, right? Uh, which is what it's mad about right here. So if I do uh, control, alt, shift, enter, all sorts of stuff, you know what, let me just define it. Uh, patient, adapter, okay. This is what the constructor is going to look like. Uh, it's going to take uh, a context. It's the first thing. has to have that context. Um, we're going to need it. You'll see why in just a second. Okay. has to have the context. And it has to have uh, the data that it wants to take in, right? So like this here, right? Uh, when we defined the adapter before, we said, you're going to be based off an array list of patients. Um, this adapter, too, is going to be based off an array list of patients. And we'll call it patients, OK? So. Uh, now it's going to tell me, well, you need to call the super, uh, the super constructor class. So let's do that. Super context zero um, patients. Okay. Oh, okay. So ah. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to figure out what I did. I typed patient adapter here. That shouldn't be the case. There we go. Now we're all happy. Sorry about that. Okay, so patient adapter extends an array adapter of patient. Okay, so here we go. Had to call the super constructor. If you don't call the super constructor, you know, the, the root of this, um, things just won't be configured correctly. And that's why we need this context. All right, so... Uh, we're going to pass in the patients list, just like was done here. All right. So this constructs the thing. Now, but the big thing that changes how we draw these items is we have to override a method. Okay. So I'm going to, that method, I'm going to hit Control O or Command O. Okay. And now you get this big long list of select methods to override and implement. Holy cow. The one we need to override and implement is called get view. So if I start typing get view, I get it here. Okay. This is the one. Get view, position int, convert view, parent. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So um, that gives us the, the method that we need to override. 
Now, how do we do that? What do we need to do? Get view takes a few, or it has a few parameters. Let me make this big so we can see it. Get view takes a few parameters. The first is the position. So we're in a list here, right? This is going to be give me the view. Here, view means widget in uh, Android. Give me the view for position, say, two of the list. So um, give me the view for position zero is going to be show me what you want to show me for this data, Peter 99. Position one, Peter 88. Okay, that's what position is. Convert view. Um, the list view is smart, right? Everything in here, each one of these, is a view. It's a widget, right? If a widget goes off the screen, it will reuse it. It will recycle it a little bit, kind of like the recycler view does, right? So if this thing, if this second parameter is not null, it's saying, I've already built the view, just replace its data. Uh, finally, the view group, we actually don't need to worry about that. We're not going to use it, okay? Um, except for, well, no, that's not true. Uh, we might need to use it. Uh, we need it in the constructor. Or not in the constructor, but when we create the, the layout thing. All right, let's just get into it, shall we? First of all, delete this return statement. We don't want that. We don't need it. We're going to make our own view, okay? First thing we want to do is we want to check to see if this convert view parameter is null, okay? If it's not null, we're just going to reuse it. This is saying, I've already built a thing here, and I want to show it to you, okay? This says, I've already built the layout, all right? So what layout is it? Um, I've actually already given that file to you. So if you go into, let's just take a, a preview of what we want to replace the list view with. Um, go over here into your Explorer, REST, Layout. There's one called Patient List Item. And if you open it, you'll see what this looks like. Uh, it's pretty simple. We're saying that for every patient, try and make this big, show a label called the name. And then after here, we're going to put the data and then show a label called the age. And after here, we'll put the age data. And this layout file, it's a constraint layout. It's got text views. That's it. That's all it is. Um, you can feel free to have a look at it. There's nothing tricky in here, nothing special. It's just a layout file. All right. So let's go back to the activity. If convert view is not null, it says, I already have one of these things, just change its data. If it is null, you need to build up a new one for me to display, right? So this will get called the first time you build up the list view. Make me a new one of those things, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we will um, call the thing that will build widgets from a layout file is called the layout inflator. Right? And it's the same, um, well, it, the set content view on your activity up here on create also uses the layout inflator. But the layout inflator is baked into Android. It's the thing that reads the XML file for a layout and converts it into Java widgets. Okay, So we're going to call uh, layout inflator dot from, and now we got to um, give it a context. Okay, so get context, the context being me, the uh, activity. And then we call inflate, and you give it the layout. Okay, so we're in r.layout, and then the name of my layout is the name of this file over here. Patient, r.layout.patient list item. Okay, um, and then there's two more parameters that go here, parent and false. Okay, we don't have to worry about those. So don't worry about the fact that this thing here is, is being screwy. Um, this is actually the correct uh, form of this. It's just Android Studio is kind of out of sync. Um, don't worry about this redness right here. It should go away. If it doesn't go away, I've made a bug, but 
it should go away. This is a bug in Android Studio. It's just not happy right now. Um, all right, so this inflates the view. It makes a widget for you to put data in. Let's re assign it to the convert view variable, right? Convert view is null. Let's give it the widget we just made. Okay. Now, what do we do? Um, we want to put the data into the layout file. All right. So I've got this layout file. I've got a name and an age over here. I've got a label, and then I've got the item name, which is going to be the text view where I want the name to go. And I've got an item age, which is a text view. It's blank right now, so you can see it, uh, where I want the age to go. So I need to get these text views out of the view I just made and set their data. Okay, so text view, uh, patient name is, okay, we gotta call convert view, right? The view we just created, find view by ID. And find view by ID is gonna search within the widget. When you call find view by ID just by itself, um, like we did up here with the list view. It says find it within me, whoever the calling widget is. Find it within me. This says find it within this widget. Okay, this widget is the convert view I just made. Um, find view by ID. The name of it is, uh, I think it's name, uh, what did I call it? Item name. Okay, it's the name of the text view where I want to put it. And then there's also the patient age, item age, okay. All right, so this gives me the views. Now I need to set their data, okay? But what data do I give them, all right? How do you figure out who goes where? Well, recall, I just mentioned a few minutes ago, this call to get view has a position parameter, and this position corresponds to whichever item in the list you want to show. Well, where's the list? We passed it in to the constructor. Okay, so this is the list that we're going to set. Um, now, if I need to update it, okay, or if I want to reference it, I should probably put it in a field variable here. So let me do that. Okay. And then here I will, in the constructor, initialize it. Let's stop patience, get to patience. Okay. All right. Now you want to show item number zero, one, two. You want to show Bob 55. Well, the patient's object is an array list. So I can get the patient I want to show by calling patients.get the index of the item you want to show. Well, the index of the item I want to show is this position parameter. Okay. So finally, then what we need to do is patient, now that we have the patient and the patient has the data in it, Right, it's been built up from calls to the Firestore. Now we need to set the value in the text view. So patient name, and then the call is going to be dot set text. That sets the text content of a text view. And what do we want to set it to? We want to get the patient's name out of this object. P dot get name using my getter. Whoops. And then for the age, we want to set that to patient.setText. Uh, if you remember, getAge is going to return an integer. Okay, uh, It should still do the conversion for us. All right, final thing, final thing we have to do is return this view that we created. Okay, It's called getView. we got to return the view that we just made. Okay, all right. So this is my adapter. I've created an adapter that tells the list view how I want it, these things displayed. And I want it displayed in this new layout I've created. All right, then. So final thing is I need to change up my adapter a little bit. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so my array adapter now is not going to be the old baked in array adapter. It's going to be this new patient adapter class I defined. Right? And the patient adapter takes the context as the first parameter and then the list of patients. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, but initially the list of patients is blank. Whoops. Um, so let me give you that blank. Okay. All right, so initially it's blank, but it's hooked up and it's ready to display them. Now when we refresh, everything should actually still be okay. We shouldn't have to change anything down here because we have an array list of patients here. The adapter is just saying how to display it. All right, let me run my app and see if we've got anything good. All right, it compiled, that's a good sign. We launched the activity, that's a good thing. Despite the fact that Android Studio is still mad at my list item, let's refresh. Ah, crunch, something bad happened. Okay, thing crashed, so let's take a look. What happened? Uh, change my fire store. Gotta change my filter here to find out what went wrong. Okay, it's dead. So let me look at this guy. What happened? String resource ID, fatal exception, resource not found. Ah, it, it is actually mad at me about this. Um, oh, p.setText.getAge. Ah, okay. So the problem here, <laughs> the problem here is that getAge is an integer. Um, and it's trying to set text on get age. Well, that's not going to work too well because get age is an integer, and Android is unfortunately at this point not smart enough to convert this integer to a string. Um, it's also the case that this uh, error message is not really indicative of that problem, is it? Um, let's convert this into a string. Integer dot to string. Give it the string. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay. Open our Firestore list view, refresh the data. There we go. Okay, so we can see here now it is showing the items in my list view the way I wanted them to be shown. Okay, and if I go ahead and add um, people here, I know I spelled that wrong, submit them, refresh. There she is, she's showing up. All right, so that's it. Um, maybe a little bit different way and hopefully simpler way overall of interacting with the Firestore. You have lots of options here. Um, good luck with it. Let me know if you have any questions.